take a look at a few different fabrics. Got a burlap camouflage pattern. You can see through it. I'm just going to hold this up and see what effect it has, if any, just as a, a blocking mask. See what it does for the arm. Comparison. And I'll try it doubled up here. The blocking mask. On the arm. I haven't checked these out at all. So I have no idea how they're going to do on camera here. This is uh, some perforated mylar fabric from energyefficientsolutions.com. I'll take a moment to say these are all uh, viewer send-ins. These are send-ins from one of you. <laughs> reflective material you can't really see it with the naked eye but there are perforations it's got a clothy fibrous back into it. it feels pretty tough resistant to tearing yeah, pretty resistant to tearing. A little bit of stretch to it. Might make an interesting fabric for a pants, jacket, hood, something along those lines. First, let's hold it up. See how it does as a blocking mask. Place it on one arm. Tuck it tight against, side by side. And unlike a space blankets, this material actually isn't that loud. It's a little louder than a normal cloth, obviously, but it is nothing at all like the insane sound of a survival blanket space blanket. This more like a soft tarp. Very lightweight and a lot stronger than a standard space blanket. Space blankets rip and tear and catch on everything. That, like I was just showing, it's pretty resistant to tears. This, some copper mesh. Uh, just says 12 inch by 40 inch. I don't have an actual mesh count on this. It's pretty interesting stuff. Curious just how it looks if my heat passes through it as a mask. I'm not sure because I can see through this material. I don't know if it shows on camera if I hold it against the light or blocking the, the laptop heat. Oh, let's unfold it here. See how that does? This is just a single width. It's not folded over itself at all. It's a very fine mesh. And then let's try wrapping it tight against the skin. It's cold cold material. Copper is known for heat dissipation. Let's see, pulling it tight against the skin here. Let's see the side by side. I wonder if that's heating that up all on camera. Still feels cold. I guess that spot's a little bit warmer. Interesting. It's a doubled up 
stand on. Obviously this is a very flexible, very tough and durable fabric. Be very interested as a uh, base layer how it would perform. Because it's rigid and stiff, it would create that air pocket, that standoff, to keep whatever your outermost layer is out of contact with your skin. So, this is a doubled up layer. There is definitely air pockets in there. And I am curious how this is showing on thermal right now. Last but not least, I have this 3D mesh. It's kind of like football jersey material, but there's a thickness to it. So first we'll just hold it up, see how it does as a mask. Hide, whatever you want to call it. And second, we'll put it in contact with the skin. Kind of pull it tight there. See if that shows. There's a the mesh. You can see through it. Just give that a second. And that's one of the things that I, I was interested in with this 3D mesh material is if there's enough material to block the thermal from being able to see through it. Um, white light camera, if you can see, that should show you. You can see through it. You can probably read the clock number. Um, so yeah. Huh. Just some interesting quick looks at some materials here. I'm going to get into a little bit more in depth with them later.